Hi everybody, my name is Antoinette. This is Good Owl Games, the place where I love to give you some good insights into some great games for game night. Um, and today I'm heading off on an intergalactic, interplanetary adventure. So I hope you'll join me as I talk about five things you need to know about Age of Wonders Planetfall. In Age of Wonders Planet Fall, the end is nigh, and you're heading off into space to explore new planets. Each turn there is a different location, and each card will differ based on its location too. Use your resources to defeat units, and to build infrastructure. Gather points and meet objectives to see if you're really out of this world. Thing one, what's this game all about? So Age of Wonders Planet Fall is actually a game that's based on a video game. Um, I'm pretty sure it's of the same name. And I haven't played the video game and I'm not going to because this is the board game review. And if you're familiar with the video game, maybe this will mean something extra to you. But to me, this is just another game I'm going to tell you about. So you'll have to bear with that. I do think there are some similarities to the game, at least in the artwork, I think. But beyond that, I couldn't entirely be certain. Um, but what this game is about is that you're basically traveling through seven different planets in space and you are kind of gathering resources, you're fighting units you're trying to find ways to score points that's kind of where it's at um apparently there is a bigger theme at play here something to do with an old world dying and you trying to start a new world and the ruins of the old but that's just what i read on the bgg page i didn't feel any of that really in the game itself so i'm not sure how thematic this one is um, so similar games to this at, it, at its core it's it's kind of a it's a drafting bidding game kind of thing. Um, one in which the order in which you choose things is actually very important. So on that basis alone, I'm gonna compare it to something like Furnace, um, maybe just a little bit, where you are bidding on a number of things, um, the order matters, and then you get to use the things you've bid on to you know, build your engine kind of idea. So some of that. Thing two, what kind of actions are you gonna be performing on your turn? So Age of Wonders Planet Fall is a card game, one in which you are drafting cards and gathering resources. And how it works is that you play as a unique faction. You'll have your own special ability and things like that. Um, and you're going exploring space. You're going exploring planets, specifically exactly seven. And what you want from these planets is, well, kind of victory points, but this is spread out in a, a different set of ways where you could fight units, you can purchase buildings and things like that that will give you victory points and also you can gather resources that you're going to need. Um, the fun part about the planets is how they're, they're basically cards are, are laid out in rows. It's kind of like an inverted pyramid where there are more at the top than there are at the bottom. And depending on the placement of the card, um, it might do something different. It might be cheaper, it might be more expensive, depending what row it's in. And so picking your card is important in that sense, like the order in which you're going to do your cards matters. Um, you'll get to choose um, not just once, but twice from every planet. And when you choose, everyone places out a marker. And then once everyone's placed one out, you all kind of get your cards back. And depending on what row um, card you chose, um, that will determine kind of turn order next, what order, like what order everything is going to go in. Um, and so you do this twice and then you'll move on to a new planet. Um, and there are a number of these. Um, the game is quite quick and timely. You'll be surprised how fast you would go through this many planets. Uh, so yeah, so well, this is kind of a quick and straightforward game. Um, you know, you're picking, you're choosing, you're carrying on. Thing three on the table. So I will say actually that this one looks quite nice when it's all set up and that's kind of thanks to that inverted pyramid thing. Um, it gives it space to show off some of the art on the cards and it makes the game look very interesting and inviting. Um, the setup itself is pretty straightforward. The only issue you might have is that you have to build each deck for each planet. Um, there's a set number of cards and you have to remove some to set those up. So that's a little time consuming and it takes about 35 minutes for two of us to play. 
Um, the rule book here is a really, really good one. It has plenty of examples and answers to questions, so I got to approve of that. Um, replayability wise, however, I do feel like I saw a lot of the same cards. Um, and the planets you see have a deck of 14 cards and you choose nine, at least the two players to, to play from. And it already felt like I'd seen a lot of them already, that there wasn't a lot of freshness there from the planets. But that might be a bonus, actually, if you're the kind of player who enjoys familiarity. Thing four, how does this game look and feel? Well, this might be a first for me where a game's art has a direct kind of inspiration or point of reference, and it happens to be a video game. And you can definitely feel that here, especially like look at the, the cover for the, the box. It doesn't feel like a board game. It feels more like a, a video game, probably because it is. Um, and that I think leads to all of the art feeling a little bit sterile and a little bit clinical. I do feel like part of the fun and enjoyment of board games is getting to you know engage with, with cool art and cool ideas. Um, and I do feel like this is kind of a step removed from that. If anything, it feels like the art is just kind of pasted on just a tad. Um, component wise, um, I will say that the cards are really, really nice. I do wish more attention had been played to the player boards. And while I talk about the player boards, I must say the art on those is spectacular. I really love the different characters. They're all very unique and interesting. I felt like they had a story. I wish there had been kind of more of that. Um, but overall, as far as art goes, um, it's functional. It works. It's just not particularly special. Thing five, is this game actually any good? So I'm gonna start off by saying that this is a perfectly fine card drafting game. Um, it's got some cool features. Um, I like the fact that where you take your card from matters and affects your future turns. Um, I like the fact that you only got two picks of cards per planet, which meant that you had very kind of few choices to make throughout the game, making each one all that more important. Um, so I think that gives the game a little bit of gravity and a little bit of weight. Um, my favorite feature is the different characters that you can play as, and they have their own abilities, um, some of which are really, really interesting. Um, in particular, I liked there was a, a character who said, you can like reserve a card from the pyramid um, before anyone else does, um, but you always go last. <laughs> so it's kind of a way of both blocking out other players, but also about ensuring you got the card you want when you want it. I thought this was fascinating and I wish it went further. Um, and I feel the same way about the combos that the cards kind of made together. Nothing was kind of very in depth or explosive. It was all very kind of surface, if that makes sense. Um, your abilities didn't really feel super game changing, but kind of, I don't know, game aligning, um, something like that. And that, I think, is my problem with the game as a whole. All of these little things that you do don't add up to any kind of big or exciting things. It doesn't add to a bigger picture. And everything feels small and contained. You get very few points for everything you do. It's kind of a nickel and diming game. There are no big turns. There's no kind of, ooh, look what I did um, kind of feelings. No, it's all very small and incremental. Um, and that kind of held this game back for me from being something excited, exciting. But I do feel like there are touches of that potential in here that just never got to go big like I, I would have liked to have seen. Overall, this is a very straightforward and quick um, card game, and it's definitely um, kind of interesting in the way it approaches its problems. Um, I just don't know if it's the most exciting. Do I think you should have Age of Wonders Planetfall in your collection? Well, it's a fast, fun and easy going game. And also, if you're a fan of the video game, then this is probably worth looking at. You've been watching Good Owl Games. Why not like or subscribe to the channel so you can get updates about my future videos? Or if you have any comments or queries you'd like to make about Age of Wonders Planetfall, please ask in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. So tune in again next time for some more short and hopefully informative board game reviews.